one person can't design a plant by themselves. They really need to communicate with sanitation and maintenance and really everyone has to play a role. Hygienic design is important to the food industry because it is the first step in food safe manufacturing. At the hygienic design training, um, the people that come in and go through the class, um, which is very hands-on, the, there's a whole section of it that they break up into teams and they do a lot of hands-on work. The most exciting part about the workshops is being able to work with other people from other industries to share their ideas and to actually put what you're learning into action right at that time. To get to work with a lot of different people who you wouldn't normally and have a lot of different experiences so I think you learn more from not only the class but but from those other people as you're working with them in those small workshops. The combination of being able to sit and listen to an instructor take you through some specific things is excellent but then actually having to come into an area and throw you together as a group and say now apply it. They learn about the principles of sanitary design both from an equipment standpoint and from a facility standpoint. So what we do in the hygienic design for equipment workshop is really just teach the basic principles, how to apply the principles, and we also organize the teams as much as possible to be multidisciplinary when they come in. As an engineer, it was good for me to see how sanitation and maintenance uh, personnel could really input and see things that I couldn't see as an engineer as far as how to make a machine more sanitary and more maintainable. They actually design a facility so they, they get the opportunity to kind of build a whole production facility on a small scale level and so they learn about um, traffic patterns, they learn about placement of equipment. Uh, the workshop where we do the uh, plant layout was, was excellent because it's rare that you get to start from the very beginning and work through a whole facility and, and start to understand much more hands-on of how how a facility would be laid out versus just talking about how you would do it. We're building a plant from scratch with just some requirements. It's really neat to see everybody with different areas of expertise coming together and deciding what's the best thing to do and what materials to use. So they, they learn that side of it and then you combine it with the hygienic design um, principles of equipment and facility. Um, they really get a complete picture of a full successful hygienic pr design program within a plant. No matter how knowledgeable you are in hygienic design, you alone cannot make all the right decisions for every single department, for every scenario. So it really takes cross-functional and input from subject matter experts across the organization to do it properly. There's a lot of knowledge um, and it's all based on science. It's not a lot of opinion, it's based on fact and it's based on people who are engaged in what they do. So when you go back to your own facility, you're going to look at it differently. You're going to walk in and see, hey, hey, I, that's right, there's a better application in there. You know, I saw it. At the end of the day, you want to make the best possible product and the safest product for your in-line in consumer and for your customers. And how do you do that? This is the best way to do it.